The federal court has held that Pematang Power MP Nuru Iza Anwar and PKR did not defame the National Feedlot Corporation Sendirian Berhad or NF Corp and its chairman. In a unanimous decision on Monday, a three-man panel chaired by Federal Court Judge Justice Muhammad Zawawi Saleh dismissed the appeal of NF Corp and Dato Sri Dr. Muhammad Saleh Ismail. The court decided that Nurul Iza and Dato Saifuddin Nasution Ismail, who was sued in his capacity as PKR Secretary General, had made out the defense of justification and they could not be liable for damages for defamation. The court also ordered NF Corp and Saleh to pay 50,000 ringgit in costs. NF Corp and Saleh had sued Nurul Iza for her statements made during her time as the Lumba Pantai MP in 2012 relating to the company's planned purchase of eight units of condominiums in KL Eco City using 71.4 million ringgit of government funds as leverage. The statements were made based on the exposure by PKR's former director of strategy Rafizi Ramli. NF Corp and Saleh were represented by lawyer Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, while Nuru Iza and Saifuddin were represented by lawyers Raslan Hadri Zukifli and Dato Joshua Kevin. To say that the federal court has decided on this matter based on the decision of the High Court and also the Court of Appeal, and they've affirmed the finding of fact by the High Court and the Court of Appeal. Sejak tahun 2012 kan, kes ini, dan mengingatkan saya kepada teman seperjuangan Saudara Rafizi Ramli ketika kami mula-mula bersama mendukung usaha gigih beliau untuk um, membawa ketika itu uh, kritikan terhadap projek NFC. Jadi sudah tentu bila masuk ke tahun apa 2021. Bayangkan ya ketika itu saya di parlimen Lembah Pantai sekarang di Permatang Pauh tapi it's a sweet uh, of course decision lah ya kerana akhirnya kita kembali kepada keperluan ahli parlimen wakil rakyat terus bekerja dalam dewan rakyat NF Corp was set up in 2007 with its subsidiary National Feedlot Center to expand the local beef industry aimed at reducing the country's dependency on imported beef the project became embroiled in controversy after the Auditor General's report 2011 noted that it was poorly managed